you and your children will perform signs and wonders. Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 18 says, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. God is desirous and willing to bless his children and those who believe in him. His interest in blessing them is not limited to them alone but also extends to their offspring and the generation after them. This has been the consistent character of God. He is always interested in the intergenerational transfer of rewards or otherwise from parents to their lineage and their children's children. That was why Abraham became a transgenerational blessing. Of which we are today the beneficiaries of his faithful walk with God. Even today, God has not only promised to bless you alone but has also promised to bless your children and generations after them. In Isaiah 61, verse 9, the Bible says, And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people, all that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. So God's promises are for you, your household, and your family. This is because when one is affected, another is also affected. And because God wants all-round blessings and satisfaction for you, He ensures that your blessings also touch all that you have and belong to you. In Isaiah 65, verses 22 and 23, talking about you this time, He says, They shall not build, and another inhabit, they shall not plant, and another eat, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. Do you get that? It says in the last verse, and their offspring with them. So God's plan of blessing for you also includes your children and their children. Therefore, I prophesy to you that the grace of excellence, exploits, and wonders will come upon you and your families as we pray at this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 22. May every feebleness, weakness, and failure come to an end for you and for your children and their children. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says in Psalms 105, verse 37. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, weakness and feebleness come to an end for everything that comes from your loins. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare for you that you are the descendants of giants as of today. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall be no weaklings and non-entities among your lineage. In the name of Jesus Christ, as it is written in Zechariah 12, verse 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. Child of God, I decree that what is deemed feeble among you will be as great as what is deemed greatest in your current city or community. In the name of Jesus Christ, because of the blessings of God upon you and your household, you will be the envy of your neighborhood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Genesis, chapter 26, verse 14. For he had possession of flocks, and possession of herds, and great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. That is you from today, in the name of Jesus Christ. You and your children and your children's children will be so blessed that you will become the epitome and perfect examples of blessedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the man, woman, boy, girl, and child who is listening to or watching this video. Lord, let your blessings that make rich without sorrows be released in abundance unto them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, release all blessings, glory and resources that have been delayed or withheld from your children now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cause to be released also to them today a favor that will pay for the years of their labor and laboring. In the name of Jesus. Father, may the destiny helpers you've appointed for them find them today, wherever they are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let every generational curse or misfortune that has followed your children come under your judgment and be terminated now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Dear Father Lord, let their covered or eclipsed glorious destinies emerge like a lion from wherever it has been caged, covered or eclipsed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I liberate by fire, thunder and brimstone, the destiny of every listener here now, be loosed and released. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Father Lord, let everything limiting the manifestation of anyone under my voice from attaining the full height and potential that you have ordained for them come under your judgment now and be routed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, let there be restoration and surplus payback for everyone under my voice who has been delayed by the enemy, the devil, and his cohorts, or whose opportunities, times, and resources have been delayed, denied, destroyed, or stolen, be restored in surplus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I decree instant restoration unto the life of your children, in accordance with Joel, chapter 2, verses 25 through 27, where your word says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, let anyone under my voice whose family is under any form of financial pressure receive relief and help from above that will end that financial pressure and embarrassment forever in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by this prayer, let giants emerge from the loins and roots of all my listeners, financial giants, leadership giants, academic giants, and spiritual giants. Giants in every sector and area that matters. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release to all my listeners, the grace to always be the heads and not the tails, to always be above and not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, according to your faithfulness, let this be the lot of all my listeners and their families. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord for answering us, in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.